I'm going to go over how to do several problems here in the APES mathematics review. So this is a review for the end of the course, some of the math that you're going to need for the AP test. So the first one is just a review of uh, a thousand. So a thousand, or a review of scientific notation. So a thousand is one times ten to the third. And so you just need to remember these, and so that's why um, at the beginning we start with these. And a million, you need to remember, is 1 times 10 to the 6. And a billion is 1 times 10 to the 9th. It's hard to write small on this application, so that's a 9. And then a trillion, I'm just going to kind of write it over here, is 1 times 10 to the 12th. And then going to 23,000, so if I write out 23,000, I'm going to go ahead and put this in scientific notation. So I'm, here's my decimal. I'm going to move it one, two, three, four times. So my answer is 2.3 times 10 to the fourth, since I moved the decimal four times. And then with 256,000, I'm going to move it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And so my answer is 2.56 times 10 to the fifth. And that's how you do the first six. Start out pretty basic here. I'm going to move my paper over to do the next ones to give myself more room. All right, so going on to number seven. Uh, the first thing we're going to do with number seven is we need to change the um, the seven and the eight. So let me kind of bring my paper back around. So on scientific notation, the when you add or subtract in scientific notation, your exponents here, the seven and this eight, have to be the same. So I need to either change the seven to an eight or the eight to a seven. And I'm going to go ahead and change the 7 to an 8. So I need to move my decimal place 1 over to change it. So because my exponent is going to get bigger, my actual number is going to go smaller. So I'm going to move it this way. So I'm going to end up with 0 0.296 times 10 to the 8th plus 1 times 10 to the 8th. And so now to do this, I'm going to add the 1 and the 0.296, and the 10 to the 8th stays the same. So my answer for number 7 is 1.296 times 10 to the 8th. For number 8, 500 billion times 35,000. So I'm going to go ahead and just write out my numbers. So I know billion is 10 to the 9th. And 35,000 um, is uh, 35,000 here. And so now I'm going to go ahead and put these into regular scientific notation. So I'm going to move this decimal over once, twice. I'm going to end up with 5. Now that's a bigger number, so um, of smaller, smaller number, excuse me, so I need a bigger um, exponent. And that's one way to remember. It's, it's opposites. So bigger number, smaller exponent, or smaller number, you need a bigger exponent. And this one I'm going to move 1, 2, 3, 4. And this one will be 3.5 times 10 to the fourth. <clears throat> so multiplying and dividing with scientific notation is actually easier than adding and subtracting. So <clears throat> we need to take the 5 and the 3.5 and multiply them together. And we end up with 17.5. And then we <clears throat> add together the 
um, the 11 and the 4. And so we end up with 17.5 times 10 to the 15. And then now we're going to change it to proper scientific notation. So I'm going to move this decimal over one place. And then my number here is going to change from a 15 to a 16. So my answer is 1.75 times 10 to the 16th. All right, going on to number 9. So number 9 is 6,000 divided by 300 billion. So I'm going to start off with uh, 6,000 divided by 300 billion, and we know billion is 10 to the 9th. So uh, I can go ahead and just change them both. 1, 2, 3, 6 times 10 to the 3rd divided by, and I'm going to move this over, to 3 times 10 to the 11th. So when you divide, what you do is you're going to divide the 6 and the 3, so I'm going to come out with 2, and then the 3 and the 11 you're going to subtract. So 3 minus 11 is negative 8, and so my answer is 2 times 10 to the negative 8th. Going on to number 10. Number 10 is 1 ten thousandth of 3 million. So you kind of have to figure out what a ten thousandth is. So that's a tenth, that's a hundredth, that's a thousandth, and that's a ten thousandth. So 1 ten thousandth of 3 million. So remember the word of in math means multiply. So you multiply 3 million, and that would be 3 times 10 to the 6. So again, memorize that million is 10 to the 6. Let's go ahead and change this one. 1, 2, 3, 4. So it's 1 times 10 to the negative 4th. So again, my integer, my number here, got bigger, and so my exponent had to go smaller. And then it's again times 3 times 10 to the 6th. And so now I multiply the 1 and the 3, and I get 3. And then I'm going to add the negative 4 and the 6, and so I'm going to end up with 2. So 3 times 10 to the second. All right, going on to number 9. So 9 is just more practice with metric conversions. So with metric conversions, you kind of do that opposite thing again. If you go to a larger unit, your number needs to be smaller, and when you go to a smaller unit, your number needs to be bigger. So the first one is 1,200 watts, and this is number 9. And we want to know how many kilowatts. And so kilowatt, you need to memorize that kilo is 10 to the third. In fact, let's just go over these uh, metric um, parts again. So you need to know that a kilo, you need to memorize this, is 10 to the third. A mega is 10 to the sixth. A giga is 10 to the ninth, and a milli, so going smaller now, you should jot this down, is 10 to the negative 3. You also need to know centi, and I did this a little bit out of order, this is 10 to the negative 2. And then micro is 10 to the negative 6. And when we're talking about length, um, we call it a micron for length. So instead of uh, like um, one millionth of a meter is a micron. Okay, so going back to number nine, <clears throat> I'm going to change it to kilowatts. So I need to move it three spots because up here it's 10 to the third and it's telling us I need to move it three spots. So I'm going to take my decimal. I'm going to move it three spots. Which way did I go? Well, my unit here in kilowatts is bigger than watts. So that means my actual number needs to go smaller. So my answer is 1.2. You don't need to worry about this. We just put this here as a note for us to know how many places to move. Um, but the actual answer comes out like this. And going on to number 10. So number 10 is 1,200 kilowatts to 
how many megawatts. And so we know that kilowatts is 10 to the third, so I'm going to put a little three here. And we know megawatts is 10 to the sixth, so it's a million. And so I'm going to subtract six minus three. That means I need to move my decimal place three times. So I'm going to a bigger unit from kilo. So mega's bigger, so I need to make this number smaller. So I'm going to move it three spots to make it smaller. And my answer is 1.2 megawatts. Number 11, 500 kilometers equals how many meters? So I'm going to a smaller unit. Kilometer is 10 to the 3. Meter is nothing. And so I need to make this a bigger number because meter is smaller than kilo. And so in order to do that, I'm going to add three zeros. So 500,000 is the answer to 11. Number 12, 60 grams is equal to how many milligrams? Milli is 10 to the negative 3. And here I'm going from grams to milli. Oh, and grams is nothing. So I need to move it three spots. I am going to a smaller unit. That means I need a bigger number. So I'm going to add three zeros. 60, 1, 2, 3. I move my decimal three spots. So 60,000 milligrams. And 13, 14,000 milliliter is equal to how many liter? So um, ten, a milli is negative 3, 10 to the negative third. A liter is our standard unit, so it's nothing. And we're going to a larger unit. I need a smaller number, 1, 2, 3, and I have 14 liters. All right, so now we're going to go on to number 14, which is on percentages. And we'll do number 14 on the next video.